minimum. Man, I ain't got 750 to pay. Sex in the city. Now, this this could have hey. used more sex in less city. You ask me? Let's face it. This was not made for men who don't like other than men who like sleeping with other men. Uh, <laughs> it's true. still not that bad of a movie. You always hear about when some black movie comes out, someone gets shot or killed over the weekend. I'm waiting for this weekend to be over with where some women attack some dude and cut his d off. It's gonna be a girls gone wild weekend. In fact, my ass ain't even leaving the house. I'm hiding under the bed or something. It was two and a half damn hours. Mm -hmm. Who wants two and a half damn hours of Sarah Jessica Parker narrating her boring ass crazy immature life to me? I can, okay. answer, I can answer that. Uh, Anybody with a vagina. Yeah, which was 99% of the audience. <laughs> These are the most self-centered bitches in the world. I have to have some faith that all women aren't like this, even though every woman seem, in the world seemed to be in that theater cheering you, them on. You guys were going to get our asses jumped. There's a moment in the movie where the girls are on screen talking and she goes, maybe it's really all my fault. Do you think that maybe he's not having sex with me because of this? And Corey's just like, yeah, that's why I ain't having sex with you. He's absolutely right. This, that was the problem. Is The main two plots of this film are about the two of the characters getting really upset at their men and just shutting them out of their life. Uh, for as long as it's convenient for the film, which is an interminable period of time. But nobody wants to be with them because none of these chicks can go anywhere by themselves. If you date one, you, you date, date all of them. And all these women do is spend money, so much money, all the time. I ain't saying they're gold diggers, but they wouldn't mess with no broke niggas. Now, you know what I hate about this movie? Everything. It's an Adam Sandler movie with chicks. Somebody <laughs> himself. There's dogs pillows. There is a pubic hair joke that is one of the nastiest <laughs> things I've seen on film and I don't know how long. Yeah. The movie's kind of all over the place trying to touch so many bases, trying to wrap up so many storylines that it ultimately says nothing. If anything, it's a real setback from the, the TV show, which I, you know, I watched for a couple of seasons and liked. I watched the show too. But Miranda, I, I kind of disliked on the show. If I got to spend two and a half hours with that bitch, I hate her. I actually liked uh, Kim Cattrall's character. Samantha. So, yeah. Samantha. I actually liked her in this, Yay. and I liked the conclusion they came to wrap up her arc. It made sense for her character. To, to be honest, the character I always dislike the most on the show, Charlotte, because she is just a giant, whirling, dervish bag of neuroses. It does have some decent dialogue writing. It's funny a lot of the time. Sure. It's mm -hmm. well filmed. I agree. But if you at any point think that these girls are right in the way they're acting, then you are a crazy bitch. It, it's just a rental. It's just like the Simpsons movie. It doesn't need to go to the big screen, but I think for people who follow these characters that close, this is like one final thing for them to wrap all this shit up. For a woman, uh, it's not that great of a movie, so I give it matinee. For a guy, I would say rental. Who's the guy? It's the one I just met. He wants me to meet him for drinks. At 11.30? Oh, that's a booty call. No, it's not. He's a waiter. He just got off work. Louise, now I may not get texts. I may not send texts. But trust me, the subtext of that text? Bootay. <laughs> Some old bullshit. Yeah, you know what? I'm a dude. I hated it. I never want to see another movie of this <laughs> movie again. I want it to go away in a box where I never have to think about it but despite every reason i have to give this some bullshit, like mr carlisle who almost has me convinced i'm still going to say rental because once again it's it's another case of a tv show made into a movie when i think there's just no need for that for, for me coming out of this i just felt like man okay i need to go get a shot of whiskey eat a steak and have sex with a mexican whore <laughs> now granted it's tuesday and that's what i usually do anyway